I am aware that it can be challenging to worship while listening to and watching a video. And we're all learning new things as we move through this pandemic together. I am recording this in my home in Bellingham. I am fortunate to have my own flaming chalice with me. If you have a candle or a flaming chalice at home, I invite you to light yours when we do. If you need to stop the recording in order to go get it, do so. It's meaningful to do ritual together. The flaming chalice is a powerful symbol of how our community transforms our lives. Inside the welcoming cup we share with everyone, we place fire, reminding us that it is within the holy bounds of communal life that our lives are transformed, blessed, and changed for the better. Particularly at times like these, we need our community, even if we have to experience it from a distance. So now I invite you to think of all the many Unitarian Universalists across the world who are lighting flaming chalices at this difficult time. Remember, you are not alone as you listen to these words. If you know them, please say them along with me. We light this chalice, symbol of Unitarian Universalism. May it remind us of the divine spark in all creation, the power of love to heal what is broken, and to be grateful for life's blessings each day. And now I invite you to sing along with me a song many of us know. The words are simple. Rise up, O flame, by thy light glowing. Show to us beauty, vision, and joy. If you have a gray hymnal at home, it's number 362, or you can read the words in the order of service sent out with this video link. We'll sing it two times. Rise up, O flame, by thy light glowing, show to us beauty, vision, and joy. Rise up, O flame, by thy light glowing, show to us beauty, vision, and joy. Well, now it is time for our morning offering. Now you may be wondering how we can do an offering when there are no people in the pews or baskets to pass. Well, we're going to do an offering in a way that I hope works for you as you stay close to home. If you can, write a check and send it to the church soon after watching this video. And yes, I know many of us are deeply worried about the economy and our own livelihood. But if you can afford to send a check, please do. Or you might find a jar like this one. And if you can, each Sunday, place some money into the jar. This is a really good thing to do with kids. When it's safe, you can bring this jar full of cash to your church to share your offering with your beloved community. But for now, listen as Jacinda shares a lovely piece of music for us and think about how you can be generous at this time. Thank you so much for your many gifts.